This is the effect of illumination on disturbed subterranean seedlings. One of the major problems farmers face are unwanted weeds growing after plowing the fields. These weeds can cause many problems and use up much of the nutrients that could have gone to wanted crops. To find a solution to this issue, the goal of the experimental project was to find a select time of day or period of time where the ambient illumination would be insufficient for the growth of weeds during a point of disturbance. The three basic needs for a plant to germinate are illumination, water, and nutrients. With a darker amount of light, such as twilight-like illumination, a plant will not be able to gain its necessary beneficial nutrients, nor go through photosynthesis. Knowing this, no matter the type of seedlings, under shaded conditions, plants will grow less than in comparison to direct sunlight. The question was, what is the best possible time of day to plow a field without weeds growing? Finding a threshold of illumination where growth of weeds is eliminated would solve this issue. Farmers could then plow their crops during a time where the ambient illumination from sun is lower than the threshold. The hypothesis chosen for this experiment was if seedlings are disturbed and exposed to twilight-like illumination, then the seeds will not germinate. After researching about the four illumination levels, direct sunlight, overcast day, near the window, and twilight, twilight-like illumination seemed to provide the least amount of necessary light to plants, thus leading to the hypothesis. First, each of the 40 cups, 10 trials for each level of IV, were assembled using miracle grow soil and fescue grass seeds. After this, depending on the level of IV, each of the cups were placed in different places with their groups. Each day for the following 14 days of experimentation, the seedlings were watered with 5 milliliters of water and disturbed until the day of germination. On the day they germinated, the date was recorded. Following the days of germination, no acts were taken on the plants. First, on day 6 of 14, all the seedlings under the illumination of direct sunlight germinated. Next, on day 7, the seedlings grown under the conditions of overcast day germinated. On day 10, the seedlings grown near the window germinated. Finally, on the 14th day, none of the seedlings exposed to the twilight-like illumination germinated. Since none of the seedlings open to twilight-like illumination germinated, the hypothesis was proven correct. Although seedlings germinated for the other three levels of IV, the amount of seedlings that germinated per trial varied. Direct sunlight having an average of 10 out of 10 germinations, overcast day having an average of 9 out of 10, and near the window having an average of 7 out of 10. On the right, you see a table which shows the germination per trial for each level of IV. As shown, the three first levels of IV had all germinations for every trial. On the left is a graph showing the average amount of seedlings that germinated per trial. Analyzing the data, many discoveries were made. Using the results of the experiment, a chi-score test was used. After doing this test, it was found that the difference in illumination was significant. Based on further research by several other scientists, for most plants, the responsive light levels are between 10 to the power of negative 5 and 10 to the power of negative 10 watts per square meter. The state of no growth is 10 to the power of negative 1 and 10 to the power of 3 watts per square meter, which is around twilight. The major conclusion after experimenting and analyzing was that as long as the light source given to the seedlings is above the threshold of 100 luces, the seed under the experimental conditions will germinate. This threshold gives farmers a range of when to farm. Farmers can now understand the time in which the disturbance is insufficient for the growth of weeds. Finally, it can be concluded that when plowing in twilight-like illumination, the light source does not give the necessary nutrition needed to grow.